lemon, pepper, honey, mustard, salmon. Let's get in the action. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> That's it. That's I mean, it. simple things done perfectly, win every time. Uh, big, bold sear on the cast iron. Good. I want to talk. Let, let's just jump into the action. Let's go. Beautiful filet of Quare Arctic Salmon, and we're going to chase that with a little bit of sweet lemon pepper. Lane's Barbecue Sweet Lemon Pepper. It's a those, yeah, it's a good one. It's those large granules, and so right on top, the birds like it. Uh, that is a gorgeous, look at this, all this surface area for caramelization. Uh, you can even see the fat content. That is belly right there, right? That's Norwegian butter right there. Let's get a little bit of oil just on top. And I think we've stabilized the grill. And I like to pat this just like this. I think we've stabilized our grill. Let's bring this on over and take a look at it at 400 Fahrenheit. So this is going to happen relatively quickly. Uh, and notice the color on here. This just tells me that it needs to have a little olive oil on it. It's never been uh, used before. We can do a drag test and see what happens. See how it wants to stick just a little bit. So even using our salmon to oil it. How about that? And then we and then we place it down. Now, really quickly while that's searing, uh, let's put the lid down and then let's go make our honey mustard glaze. Nothing to it, and this is going to happen quick because it has to happen quick. We already we already got the salmon on there. Uh, I'm going to start with some uh, Kozlox Dijon mustard, and I like the creaminess there. I like the acid. We're only we're only doing one piece of salmon here, so we don't need a whole ton of that. Uh, and next, I want to feature my buddy Bruce Mitchell's uh, Swamp Honey. This guy's a legend. I don't know if you, Bruce yeah, Bruce Mitchell. You know Bruce really well. Um, so we've got some of his honey here, and just super excited to use it. Bruce, I hope you're watching, buddy. Uh, this is good stuff. Thanks for the honey. Uh, next, let's go in with a little bit of champagne vinegar. All right, I love the sparkle. I love the cut. And just a little bit. We don't want to thin things out too much. We're also going to add a little lemon juice. We can mix that up and just see what our viscosity is at this point. And that's pretty, okay? Next thing I want to do is sneak in some herbs. We've picked from the garden today a little bit of oregano. Uh, we've also got some fresh thyme, so we'll just kind of scooch some of that. And then we'll go in with some fresh parsley as well and mix it all in. Let's not forget that garlic. You know, a little garlic goes a long way, but it's going to be necessary. And mix it in. Sauce is done. Let's check on our salmon. Because at 400 degrees on that cast iron plate, it's going to be there. Look, I see a little caramelization there in the corner. We're going to use both the fish spatula and then the tongs as a backstop and just kind of slide directly underneath and bring it on over to our indirect side. Flip it over. Ooh la la. Now we're going to quickly take our paint that we've built together and go up top and just kind of let it go. You know, it'd be nice in here too, be a little ginger. I'm saying that out loud so I remember for next time. But that is scrumptious right there. Dome down and we're gonna cook for about four to five minutes until we reach that desired internal temperature of about 125 to 130. I forgot the asparagus, didn't I? I don't know, I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> yeah, oh, well, not a lot of moving parts here today. I forget half the freaking recipe. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we'll just go on with our asparagus. And since we don't have the direct heat underneath, this is kind of, this cast iron's a plate, so it's kind of semi uh, indirect. It's still gonna happen quick. I'm gonna use some of my honey mustard on here as just kind of a way for the uh, heat to kind of activate a little bit. What am I trying to say? So I don't wanna use oil. But I'm just gonna kind of brush the stalky parts of my asparagus and let all this come to temperature at the same time. Another one of those dishes where you just bite into it and those omega-3 fatty acids overwhelm your brain. You know, it's your body saying thank you as, as your taste buds are saying thank you. It's just a just just lovely. You know, nothing better than something fatty like a salmon, caramelizing, and then that fun zippy little uh, uh zippy. So zippy. It is zippy. The little, little honey mustard right on top to boot. And again, I think a little ginger in there would be a lot of fun. I tell you, team, it's been a hot minute since I've been so excited about a bite. Uh, the caramelization, that roasted salmon, the secret ingredient as our fuel source of natural lump charcoal. Let's give it a go. Mm-hmm. 
Well team, if you enjoyed this recipe as much as we enjoy cooking it for you, do me a favor, do all the things, hit the notification button, hit the like button, do leave us a comment because I love reading and responding back to those. Share it with all your bestest friends. And as always, from our backyard to yours, cheers and happy brewing.